Something that's really a cool experience is working out with so many good guys in one group. Olympians, NCAA champions, everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses. I think we've got a really great thing where we each bring something different to the table. So I live here with Colby Alexander, Johnny Gregoric, and Johnny's girlfriend, Amy. I think Milers and Steeplechaser, we, we are very different, but um, it works out really well. So I think it really helps me as a runner. And Hopefully I add something to them too. At Hampton, I had a roommate, but she didn't run track. So it was kind of difficult there to live with somebody who didn't do what you did, like waking up early in the morning and like not trying to interrupt them. Here, I mean, it's, the atmosphere is, is better because you have people who do what you do, who like what you like, you know, we're all motivated to do the same things. Uh, hardest work on the team would definitely be Don. Um, he, he lifts more than everybody. It seems like he pushes himself through way more pain than anybody else. Don Cabral, uh, you know, he's one of my main training partners and, you know, he's been very successful. He's two-time Olympian. I mean, he's very hardworking. It's also a confidence booster for me if I, if I can, you know, be running with him and training with him. Um, then I gotta believe we'll be able to race with him. The teammate that could take time off and get in shape very quick, it would be Colby Alexander, hands down. I mean, he's done it before. Like, his season last year was off of maybe six weeks of base in the spring, and then he went 334 in July. Like, he's very talented, and we're so happy to have him. If I had one teammate who couldn't work out for a couple months and would be able to step out and do the workout, if it's speed stuff, I know Colby can do it. Uh, he's he thinks he's God's gift to the earth, genetically. The most talented on the team is um, probably me. <laughs> they know how to make you smile and laugh at practice, which is what you need when you're in a lot of pain. <laughs> I think everyone really is pushing each Like, I wouldn't say that there's one person that, you know, stands out as the hardest worker. I mean, I think the big thing is that someone is always going to be having a good day and you have to learn how to deal with that because when you're working out with so many good guys, every day could turn into a race and I think that's something that we do a really good job of balancing and not letting happen. 59, hang in there, Joe, come on. The first thing they told me when I got here was make sure you take your easy days easy. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you don't have to tell me that twice, but um, under gag strain, and like he works you hard on hard days where like I, you need to nap for three hours afterwards. When I first got here, when I was struggling, you know, with the workouts and stuff, we had Ford, who's been running on a team for a couple of years now. He encouraged me, telling me that it's going to get better because I like kind of cried and broke down one time. I practiced like, this is hard, but he kind of encouraged me, you know, to keep going, which was very helpful to have someone old, you know, be there, step up. I never got injured, so I didn't know how to deal with it and you know they taught me a lot with cross training getting yourself back into shape again you know so they, they helped me out a lot with that you know the four by mile record that we ran as soon as i was finished running and, and watching the other guys run and I, and I figured we were gonna get it get the record pretty narrowly i was i was frustrated i was like oh, i didn't run that great we as a group we ran okay but then i saw coach gags I saw his enthusiasm and just how excited he was about it. And he was so happy that we weren't an all-star team assembled to break this record. We were just a bunch of guys that trained together. And, uh, you know, we had the depth to go into our fifth or our sixth man that day and, and still feel a team that broke the world record. I mean, if there was ever like a 10 by mile world record attempt, I really think that we would be able to, to pull this one out. And Y has quite the depth of milers. I'm gonna try and do this off the top of my head real quick of sub four milers. You have myself at 352, Johnny Gregoric at 353, Ford Palmer at 354, Graham Crawford at 355 or 356. Then you've got Travis Mahoney at 358, Brian Gagnon at 357, Will Go Egan at I believe 358, Don Cabral at 356, Jesse Garn at 359, Tommy Nohilly 359, Troutman I believe has also gone under four. You know, running as a relay, there's nothing better. Uh, you know, when you're on a team, if you can put an actual team together, in the indoor uh, four by mile record we set. It was, a, it was a great thing for our club. It was the first, I think, it's the first record that uh, we set as a club. I think I think we're gonna have a good good season just overall. Um, who out of the crew ends up having that big, big season, um, I, I can't put a uh, name to it right now.